Today in the news, the official specs for the RTX 3090 and 3080 finally leak out, some designs also leak, and Zen 3 got a great boost. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. Again, so there's been a bit of a development as we're getting closer to the September 1st announcement. We finally have the final specs and some things have changed. So the specs, here's what we had from the last roundup I made. The RTX 3090 was rumored to be built on Samsung's eight nanometer process, have 5,376 CUDA cores, be clocked at a boost of 1740 megahertz and have 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And that VRAM was apparently clocked at 21 gigabits per second. Some of it was right, but some information was dead wrong. First, the process. According to this leak from videocards.com, Nvidia is actually going to use the seven nanometer process. Does it matter? Eh, sort of. If this is TSMC's 7 nanometer process and the RTX 3090 consumes 350 watts, that can't be a good sign for Big Navi. It means that RDNA 2 better be an insanely efficient architecture or it will have lower success in the big leagues. That's if they try to price it like Nvidia. Remember, this would be the first time AMD competes with Navi against the 80 series of GPUs from Nvidia. Anyways, let's move on to the specs. The 30 the 90 is actually going to have 5,248 CUDA cores, so 128 less than previous leaks. Still 24 gigabytes of VRAM, but this time clocked at a slower 19.5 gigabits per second. As for the boost clock of the card, there are two different levels. A custom, but not overclocked card would actually be clocked at 1695 megahertz. As for the custom variants, while it will vary from company to company, this gainward version will have a boost of 1725 megahertz. As for the probably way more affordable, but still expensive RTX 3080, let's get a refresher. It would feature 4,352 CUDA cores. For boost, there is a leak for 1710 megahertz, but this gain word model would be clocked higher at 1740. It will also sport 10 gigabytes of VRAM with a speed of 19 gigabits per second. The rest of the specs are on screen. Now, if we look at the photos of the upcoming complete cards from Zotac, big is the first word that comes to mind. There are three 3090 variants and three 3080 variants, presumably they'll share the same cooler, and that's from Zotac with a triple fan design. There are also two 3070s with dual fans. These look so small in comparison. One thing to note is that these big cards are all sharing the same small PCB form factor and that the 3080 and 3090s will feature dual 8-pin connectors for power. There's also a warning hot surface sign on the back of the GainWard 3090 backplate. I knew those GDDR6 chips would get hot thanks to the previous leaks, but damn, for it to have a warning like that, it's pretty hot. Now there's one thing that bothers me a little bit for the future. These cards will use HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.4a. I don't understand why not just go for DisplayPort 2.0. The max refresh rate for both standards at 4K is 120 hertz. Sure, some companies are using display stream compression to achieve higher results, but wouldn't it have made more sense to just plot the newest standard like DisplayPort 2.0, which has been validated since last year? Just a thought, what do you guys think? All right, moving on, we've got some AMD news. It looks like Zen 3 will offer an eye-watering 15% increase in IPC. That's around what we expected, but we now got confirmation in the form of OEM documentation that was caught by Andreas Schilling over on Hardware Lux. According to that same report, Epic Milan processors would also benefit from a 5% increase in clock speed, making it a 20% overall increase in performance. That's good news for Ryzen. Another change in Zen 3 is unified L3 cache. On Zen 2, each CCX has 16 megabytes of L3 cache. On some SKUs like the 3100, that causes some performance drawbacks when compared to the 3300X. On Zen 3, the 32 megabytes of L3 cache is available to all eight cores within the CCD. Not only that, but we might see CPUs with more than 32 megabytes of L3 cache. Whether that will make its way into the mainstream market is still up in the air. 
And that's pretty much it for the catch up guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. To subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to stay frosty my dudes and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. But you can't keep up with everything that I play or do. Overwatch has been my favorite, but lately you crashing with me. I honestly thank you for seven years. We got all so many souvenirs, but you keep bugging on the heavens. GTA 5 is a mess, man.